So this is going to be my first time doing box braids. I'm not too good at it. I really haven't braided a day in my life, but we're going to see what happens. So this video, I just want to share with you like what I'm actually going to be using. I can't stretch hair. So what I bought was pre-stretched hair from the beauty supply store. And it's called Rasta, or Rasta Free Amazon Three Times Braid Natural Straight and it is in bt427 and it's kind of like a blondish brown color i don't yeah i hope you guys can see that but the good thing about it is it's pre-stretched and it's 54 inches so it should be pretty easy to braid i got two packs of them so let me just see how that goes um hopefully i can do it because i don't know but if not, if it's hard, what I do have is rubber bands. So I have rubber bands just in case I need to do the rubber band method because it does kind of get hard for me to just keep parting and I can't see the back of my head and I don't know how I'm gonna record it. So we'll just see. Basically, I just bought these rubber bands from the beauty supply store also to help me out. And speaking of parting, I got my comb from the beauty supply and it's blue it's pretty cute and to lay my edges down and i'm gonna put this like on each braid it's the eco style um i think it's the cast black castor oil flaxseed oil it's this one it pretty it costs 249 it wasn't that much money but we're gonna see how that goes and see if i can make it see if i can make it but yeah oh and hopefully i have enough hair because this is only three or two packs and it comes with three of them so we'll see if it's sufficient enough and i'm just gonna cut to the clip of me doing my hair so you guys can see how the process actually went Okay, you guys as you can see I'm getting started off with the first packet of hair and I do have a little mirror under my camera so that I can better see my parts and what I'm doing so I was trying to decide if I could use my hands and just regularly do it in part and hold my hair but I decided to go with the rubber band method I feel like it's easier to hold and easier to braid and also easier for me to part and see what I'm doing before I actually put it in the braids And for those of you who actually don't know how to add in your extension here, what you do is you take a little bit and then you wrap it around your rubber band or your regular hair and you just loop it and then continue to pull your hair through and then continue to braid down until you get to the very end.
thing I did want to focus on was keeping the front half of my hair very neat. So I took my time parting. I wasn't really too worried about the back half of my head because nobody can really see the back half of your head when you're doing braids. They pretty much just focus on the front. So what I wanted to do is make sure it looks very neat and nice. And then if you guys keep seeing me look off to the side, that's because I am watching Disney Plus the whole time. As you guys can see it's just really easy just to go ahead and part your hair and then just tie a rubber band around there it's really easy saves you a lot of time I mean it was really good for me because I wasn't stressed out about my roots looking really sloppy or not tight enough and I think it's really just a time saver and for those of you who really don't have a tight grip it's really helpful So this is the front with the rubber band method. Now it's time to go to the back. As you can see, I'm really pleased with how it looks. And then I'm just gonna go ahead and start parting in the back and go ahead to do the rubber band method and add in my extensions. To make it easier for me, what I did was instead of doing a rubber band and then braiding, I just went ahead and parted my whole back of my head and then put the rubber bands in so that I could just easily just put my hair to the side and then start braiding from each braid. I did end up using all of the first packet so now I'm on to my second packet and just to let you guys know I did only use one section of that hair to finish the rest of my braids.
Okay, so now that I'm done braiding, I'm going to go ahead and dip my ends. So what I did was I heated up a pot of water in the kettle, and then I went ahead and put it in a pitcher so that I can easily dip my hair into the pitcher and let it sit for a couple seconds. So as you can see, I'm just putting it in, and then I'm going to go ahead and take it out, and then dry it off with a towel. Be careful when you're doing this because it is very hot and can burn you. I was super surprised when the ends came out because I just love how they're super straight and they're super soft. But I went ahead and dipped them two times so that they would stay and that the hair would not come loose. Next, I went ahead and grabbed my scissors so that I could cut off any loose ends or tangled ends to make it just look like a more finished look. As you guys can see it's pretty much waist length I really love the length of it and I love the color at the end while my hair is drying I just wanted to do my edges so I know I told you guys that I was going to use a uh, gel but I decided to use an edge tamer called 24 hour edge tamer took my edge brush and I just went ahead and applied my edge tamer one thing I like about it is it does not flake up like eco would and when you put your scarf on it just really lays nice at night I'm really happy with how it turned out the front is really neat it's not too stiff I mean I can move it around put it in a ponytail lift it up the back is not too messy itself it looks really nice I feel like the hair is really light and it's really easy to work with so I feel like dipping your ends is probably the most important part it just gives you a finished professional look a uh, hairstyle that would cost $180 only cost me $20 and I'm pretty happy about that and I want you guys to save more because I did and it's just so affordable and so easy to do. Alright guys, this is the after product of 6 hours sitting in chair. Honestly, I think I did pretty good to say it's my first time actually braiding and doing box braids and it's a $20 hairstyle so why not, you know, you can do it, go to your beauty supply store get that hair and I actually ended up doing the rubber band method which really helped me grab a hold of the hair when I was parting and braiding and it helped a lot and then once I dipped the ends it turned out way better than I thought nice and smooth one thing I did like about the hair was it was really soft when it came out the packet and I wasn't really expecting that it was pre-stretched so I wasn't I didn't know what to expect honestly but it turned out pretty good I would say it's not even tight, like the rubber bands don't even hurt my head or anything. And it's not stiff, like how you, when you first get your braids done, they're really stiff. It's not that stiff, it's not that heavy either, it's pretty light. And I tried to maintain like the sizing throughout and it turned out pretty good. I also really enjoy this color, like it's kind of like an ombre, light brown, black. And I think I did a really good job. Let me know what you guys think. Comment below. Like, share, and subscribe. And thank you for watching another video with Mickey Love.